Let's talk a little bit about vision. I, I believe that most network marketing companies, I've watched a lot of companies launch, and there are some good companies. Most companies, as they get started, they struggle. And the reason why they struggle is because they don't have a real vision. This is our vision. I want to read it to you right now, and I want all of you to make a note of it. It's also available in your back office, on the websites, etc. But you should practice writing this down. And I'll tell you why. Because I want this vision to be your vision. Our vision is to spark a global economic movement and lead the revenue sharing revolution while empowering people around the globe to look good, feel good, and live good. How many of you think, and you may not want to raise your hand, but how many of you think that actually companies that have vision statements like this are kind of cheesy? And I'll be honest with you, most of the time, that's what I have felt. Most of the time when I see a vision like this, I'm like, man, somebody spent a lot of time and got paid a lot of money to write down some very pretty words. That's usually the case. I'm confident that most companies have a vision, but that, that vision is not really heartfelt. Let me tell you why this vision is heartfelt. Because we truly do want to spark an, an economic movement. And what is that economic movement? Well, I'm going to share that with you. There's a lot of Fortune 500 companies out there right now. And, and if you look at the way most companies are built, isn't it true that most of the people at the top make all the money? No, I'm, I mean, am I right? Most of the, the executives, the president, the CEO, they're making all the money. And other people make money too, but it's not as fair. And the economic movement that we really want to promote is fairness. And I truly believe that you will see as you begin to enjoy and share and learn about JubiRev, JubiMax, you're going to see that we have the most fair, the most exciting compensation plan on the planet. Now, we do that with what's called the revenue sharing re uh, revolution, the revenue sharing model. How many of you have heard of revenue sharing before? Have you seen revenue sharing before? It's powerful. It's powerful. What I haven't seen is anybody use revenue sharing to actually do what all businesses are charged to do. Does anybody know what businesses are charged to do? There's only one reason a business exists. Does anybody know what that is? Okay, make a profit. That's good. What else? What are, what are the other things the business is charged to do with? It's not a trick question. Bring value to customers. Bring value to customers. The only purpose of a, of, of a business is to profitably deliver quality products and services to the marketplace at a price point that consumers will purchase those products and services even without the opportunity attached. That's bold. That's what separates a winning company from a company that is nothing more than hot air. The revenue sharing model is the most powerful revenue sharing, uh, the most powerful compensation plan I've ever seen. And the reason is because it is so fair. And the reason is because it gives Joe Average and Susie Average an actual opportunity they would never have had anywhere else. Let me tell you what's unfair about most companies' compensation plan. The leaders, just like the Fortune 500 companies, do one thing. Let me tell you what those leaders do. They make all the money. Because in most compensation plans, only the leaders are getting paid because they're the ones bringing in results. And that is fair to some extent. But what about all the other promoters that are not bringing in as many results? but they are helping build the brand. Gotcha. Now let's think about that for a moment because what I just said is very key. Of course, if you're a leader here and you're bringing in results, there's absolutely no doubt. You're gonna have an opportunity to earn and earn big, make no mistake. But if you have promoters that are coming up, if we're gonna be a company that actually wants to build and inspire the next generation of leaders, then don't we have to make sure that as they're coming up, they have a fair chance at, at making a little money too? Joe Average, Susie Average, but how do we do that? Well, we have the only compensation plan on the planet that is designed to do one thing, to reward people who promote by helping us build our brand, our brand, as well as to reward promoters who are also getting results, and they actually have an opportunity to earn a little bit more. So what's fair? If you're promoting, you get an opportunity to earn. If you're promoting and getting results, you get an opportunity to earn more. If you're just buying products, you're not going to earn anything, because that means you're a customer. And that's what separates our company from other companies. Really important, okay? Now, I also want to go ahead and just see, who do we have here that's a founding member already? Who do we have here that's a founding member already? Okay? So we have a lot of founding members here. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is that as a founding member, um, and we'll talk a little bit about those qualifications here, um, as a founding member, you're going to have access to some really exciting bonuses. 
So if you like what you see, if you feel like we're a real company, if you feel like we got great value we can bring to the marketplace and the leadership and the marketing assistance to help you achieve your goals, we would welcome you to get started with us and join us as one of our founding members. If you do, you're going to benefit from several very exciting bonuses. Now, we're not going to take the time today to go through the bonuses because I'm really not here to, uh, to, to spend any uh, detailed time talking about that, but I can tell you it's very lucrative. And if you were going to do something with us, we'd love to have you do it now and join us as one of our founding members because the founding members' bonuses are going to be great for you. Here's another reason why you want to be a founding member. You want to be a founding member because a lot of what we do in network marketing, a lot of what we do in relationship marketing is we tell our story, right? Now, if we have a good vision for helping sell our products and services in the marketplace, consumers don't need our story, okay? They just want great value, great products and services. But as we're building a team over here, what's really important is, is that we be able to tell them a story that begins to lead them down the path of understanding a little bit about what they can achieve here in terms of financial freedom and in terms of time freedom and in terms of actually having the opportunity to change their life. So one of the real benefits here, regardless of the money, in joining us as a founding member is to be able to add that to your story. You know, I was there when they actually got started. It's a big part of it, okay? It's nice to be able to tell that to your team, to have your team be able to go out and say, you know what, actually one of my, one of my, my upline or my upline's upline is actually a founding member. It can be very, very positive. Now, it really comes down to one thing. When you're presenting JubiRev, JubiMax, and when you're building a team of promoters, these are the things that they're looking for. You know how I know that? Because these are the things that all of you are looking for. You want more time freedom. You want more financial freedom. Okay? That's what we want. We want prosperity, we want wealth, these are the things that we want. These are the things that most people want. There's other motivators, but these are big. How many of you, and again, don't be shy, this is not a trick question, how many of you would actually like to have the opportunity to live the lifestyle to do whatever you want, whenever you want? Okay, all right, got your attention. And, and, I don't, and you know what I love is, is that I can ask that anywhere. Occasionally I have wandered into other companies' opportunity meetings. On accident. Sometimes I forget where I am. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I go. I walk into a, a, a seminar full of real estate investors, all multimillionaires. I can ask them the same question. How many of you here in the room would like to have an opportunity to have more time freedom? What do you think they say? They say yes. But what does it take to truly have time freedom? What does it take to create prosperity and wealth? Well, let me ask you this question another way because this is also important. A lot of people, while wanting to have the opportunity to actually uh, you know, have time freedom and financial freedom, you know what happens to them a lot of the time? They're actually really just struggling. They never really even get a chance to put all their effort and energy into it because they're struggling. Because most people live paycheck to paycheck. And some of you are going to say, well, Josh, this doesn't apply to me. I'm a leader. I flew all the way out here. I wanted an opportunity to get to know JubiRev, JubiMax. Why does that apply to me? It applies to you because if you're going to be joining us as a leader here, this is the message that you're going to have to be talking to people about. A lot of them want time freedom and financial freedom. They want these things, but right now this is what they're facing. And this is a question you need to ask them. Because really it becomes a decision of if you want to make change, you need to make change and you need to do it now. So I ask people, if you lost your job or your income today, how long would it take you to, before you lost your car, your house, your sanity? Think about that for a moment. If any one of you here in the room today lost your primary source of income, how long before this reality sets in? Probably not long enough. Okay? That's why you're here, looking for new opportunities. Looking for new ways to actually change your current situation so that you can actually make big improvements in your life. This is the opportunity that's out there. I saw an ad online that said baby boomers are not responding to network marketing. Really? <laughs> I hadn't heard that. That's not been my experience. Okay? Because by the age 65, out of 100 people, only three people are financially independent. Think about that number. Only three people are financially independent. This is the message that you have. We live in a society that is not offering people the lifestyle that people really truly need, which is a lifestyle of freedom, a lifestyle of being able to enjoy their later years. So this is a real message. And to, to be completely honest with you, there are just too many greedy companies. There are too many Fortune 500 companies out there where the top people are making all the money and the little people at the bottom, Joe Average and Susie Average, they don't even have a chance. There's too many network marketing companies where the leaders are all advertising, I make a million dollars a month, I make two million dollars a week. Really, why is your average distributor unable to even make four cents? 
We're going to talk more about that here in a minute. In fact, even worse, the way I do my math, and I'm not a mathematician, but I've got some good expertise, and I have some people around me that are even smarter, I would actually venture to say that the average person in network marketing isn't only making four cents, they're losing 100 or $200 a month because they're buying products and services they wouldn't have been buying anyway. Now, who, who here kind of gets that? So it's not, you know, they're losing money, okay? So that's not helping the cause here. Out of those three people financially being independent, that leaves, you know, 97 people. Seven of them are dead. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not qualified to give any medical advice, but how many of you think stress may have an impact on the quality, if not the longevity, of your life? Am I right? Am I reaching to you now? So, so how many of you understand that if we don't get control of the things that are causing us stress, we're going to continue to stress? I had this guy one time, he says, you know what, you just got to do like the movie and go, ooh, sa, ooh, sa. I said, okay, okay. So I tried it. Ooh, sa, ooh, sa. Did not make my bills go away. <laughs> I did try this for an additional two weeks just to make sure, but still there they were coming every month, okay? Seven people are dead. 90% are dependent on family or state. Hey, listen. This is the only negative slide I think I have in my entire presentation. I'm a really upbeat guy. I don't allow anything negative to come into my mind. I don't watch the news. I don't keep up with any of those things. I'm 100% pure positive energy, but I'm also a very realistic person. And 90% of people being dependent on family or state is not the quality of life that I want for my legacy. I don't want it for my family's legacy. And I'm pretty sure that all of you came all the way out here to make sure that you could empower yourselves and your family to have a different legacy than what they're destined to statistically. How many of you have made a lot of good money, or a little bit of good money, but this was your life? <laughs> All right? I had a job like this one time. It was not my favorite job. I made a lot of money. I made a lot of money. Whew, sometimes I miss the money. Okay? But I don't miss this. Most people that I meet, this is what they're facing. I, say, I have people say, well, Josh, my prospects didn't come, they didn't come to my meeting. I got too many people not showing up. And, and you're angry at them? No, 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 no. This is your job as a leader, to empower them with the information that if they don't begin to make change and make change now, this will continue to be the rest of their life. So don't be angry with them. Just firmly love them and teach them and guide them to understand, Mr. Prospect, I need you to come to the meeting because you need to come to the meeting. Because if you don't, this is going to continue to be your life. Okay? All right. That's what I want. How many of you want that? How many of you want to have the opportunity to literally travel the world like the rich and famous? How many of you want to actually have the opportunity to get paid to travel the world? Okay, makes sense? How many of you think that if you could actually share with people an opportunity to get paid to travel, that you could actually make a little bit of money? Okay, folks, there's so much opportunity that we have here that you're going to be absolutely amazed. But the goal is to empower all of you with the tools that you need and everything that you need to actually be able to get here. That's what really matters. Okay? Now, this is my favorite slide. Does anybody want to know why this is my favorite slide? I brought a few things to share with you. They said, Mr. President, we want everybody to get an opportunity to know who you are. So I brought my favorite book. I brought my favorite hat. I don't know how to play golf, but I'm in preparation right now. Okay? All right? And my favorite logo. You know why that's my favorite logo? Because I made it. Took me, about, took me about 30 days or four weeks or something ridiculous. Okay? But this is my favorite logo. You know why? Because it illustrates right here, you got the U and you got the dollar sign. And for me, that's what it meant. It meant that you had to go through a process of learning how to achieve money. And notice that I didn't even want to put any dollars on here I put a bunch of gold on here because that's kind of my belief that it's more than just paper money. I want to be able to create wealth for my family. And in order to do that, I wanted to know how to do that. So I spent a lot of time making this logo. And, um, you know, I thought I might make business cards with this logo or something, but it was too technically difficult. So <laughs> I just wanted to show it to everybody here on the slide, Joe, instead. Um, but I've got two statements on here I want everybody to think about. Because this is your opportunity. This is your opportunity when you're out sharing what we do with JubiRev, JubiMax, to potential promoters. This is what everybody wants to know. How do I create wealth and abundance for myself and my family? This is what everybody wants to know. And these are some of the other hot points. Nothing seems fair. I have no time freedom. How do I take back control of my time? How many of you would like to have the opportunity to take back control of your time? 
to be honest. That's why you're here. That's why you've made the investment in yourselves and in your business to come out here and, and actually give JubiRev, JubiMax a test drive. Well, you're going to learn how to take back control of your time. Okay? Very, very simple. Now, we got a nice little fade out here, folks. I want you to pay close attention. And the reason is very simple. You're about to discover how smart entrepreneurs from around the globe are literally making hundreds or even thousands of dollars daily. How is that possible to do? Well, let's take a look. Net zero consumables. This is big, folks. This is big. Revenue sharing, it's big. It's the right comp plan. You know, it really is. But the product line, net zero consumables. This is something that you were not expecting. This is something nobody was expecting. This is big. Let me tell you why it's big. Net zero consumables represents transfer spending. It represents the opportunity to share products and services with your customers and through the customers of your promoter network where they're not actually having to come out of pocket to buy some new widget. How many of you have tried, have tried to sell a widget before? Uh, a, a juice product or, a, a, you know, I was with a company, I remember the name the other day. Uh, I'll tell you after the meeting. But my, one of my first network marketing companies, I was 18 years old. Never made a dime, but I was 18 years old. Guy came to uh, meet with my, myself and my roommate. We were, we were college kids. We thought we were going to make millions of dollars. Okay? I said, look, man, if you just tell me what to do, I will go do it. And I said, I will make more money than you, more money than your upline, more money than this whole company's ever seen. He said, all right, I'm going to tell you what to do. You get started at the $1,000 level. And this company sold these little emergency devices for women. Now, I said to myself, I know women. I've met a few. I've got a mom, a sister, right, an aunt. And one thing, women are concerned about is safety. How many of you know that women are a little bit concerned about safety? Come on, raise your hand. Don't be shy. So this little security product, here's what it would do, T. Lamont. This little security product, you would put it in your pocket, and you would pull it out, and you would hit a button, and it would start screaming. It was like a personal alarm system, and it would go off, and it would almost shatter glass. I said, whew, I bet women are going to be all over that like lipstick, right? I mean, that's got to be the best product on the planet. So I said to my boy, I said, how am I supposed to sell this product? He said, you don't worry about that. He said, all you need to do is go out to eat, go to the Denny's, and then when the, you know, have it sitting right there, and when the waitress comes over, you just kind of keep pointing at it. Tell her to ask you what this is for. And I said, I said, will that really work? He said, oh, yeah, most, most, most waitresses are women. And, uh, and that was true, I found. Um, a lot of waiters are men, by the way. Another truth I've discovered, <laughs> all right? But, but, but what I didn't find that was true is that despite the fact that I had it out on the table and was suddenly eating out more than I had ever eaten, how many of you understand college budget does not include Denny's? <laughs> the waitresses who were mostly women, I found, were getting a little frustrated when I was just coming in there drinking coffee, not spending any more money, and then continuing to point at a small black device on my desk, right, or on the table there. So I went back to my sponsor and I said, what is it that, what, what, what is wrong here? I said, I, I've been to Denny's like 20 times. I haven't sold one. You know what he told me? He said, you didn't turn it on. I said, do you really think I should turn it on? Like, for real? You, you want me to turn on the personal alarm device inside the Denny's? I said, won't that freak people out? He said, absolutely. And when they're calmed down, they're going to ask you a question. What was that? <laughs> Well, I have to be honest with you, I didn't sell a single one of those. Although, there are certain areas of the country where I'm no longer allowed inside of a dentist. <laughs> okay? All right? And the biggest reason why people don't buy those products, or if they buy those products, they don't continue to buy them, is because they were never part of their budget. Gotcha. How many of you have sold a juice product? I love some of the juices, by the way. Don't get me wrong. I've been a part of some big juice opportunities. They were great. And some of them are fantastic. I mean, they're just full of all kinds of great stuff inside, and it's great. But the reason why attrition is so high in a lot of those companies is because the customer base can't afford to spend $100, $200 a month on products they were never spending money on before. So if they're making $0.04 cents in their business on average, but they're spending $100 a month on juice, I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that means that they're losing $99 and some change. Okay? Now... Our product line spans the hottest selling trends on the internet. Products that are already in the marketplace, already being purchased, from travel to health, weight loss. How many of you know weight loss is a big one? 
Travel's a trillion dollar industry. Weight loss is a huge industry. Online shopping. How many of you know that the internet is big? <laughs> All right, I know. I, you know, that, that question was great 10 years ago. You know, there was always somebody in the room who said, it'll never grow, you know. I was one of those people, okay? But it's more than just the internet now. What's your smartphone? If you don't think online shopping is big, let me, let me tell you a little bit about the technology I have here in my hand. I, there's always one person that shows up to a meeting with a Palm Pilot. There's always one person, okay? But for the rest of you that have a smartphone that have upgraded, let me tell you a little bit about this. I didn't know how much technology had transformed people's lives until I was in the drive through at Starbucks watching uh, a, a TV show on Netflix. And um, again, I don't consider being in the drive through rolling driving, just to be clear. And that's what I would say to a cop if he asked me. I have a story all planned out, okay? So I think that in that 15 minutes through the long drive through I can maybe catch up on a TV show. Um, and I was there, and I got rudely interrupted by my grandfather, who is like 80, uh, 85 years old, who texted me. He's like, I haven't heard from you. Do you know how to text? I was <laughs> like, I didn't even know you knew what the word was. And how does he text me? So I was telling the lady at the drive-thru who had no idea why I talked to her. How many of you like to talk to the ladies at the drive-thru? I do that all the time. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm not supposed to do that. But for me, that's my first social interaction of the day sometimes. How you doing? How you been? How's the puppy? Uh, will that complete your order, sir? Okay, all right. So, you know, I get done with that and I'm pulling out. I, I, I said to myself, as I flipped over to Sirius Radio and turned on the All Elvis station, I said to myself, technology has changed people's lives. Online shopping is a lot bigger than most of you probably think that it is. Online shopping is representing a double-digit percentage of all shopping done, and it is growing rapidly. There is so much opportunity. The Internet is literally booming. Make no mistake about it. You have an opportunity right here with JubiRev, JubiMax, to share products and services in the marketplace that are already being purchased, which means that they don't have any new out-of-pocket cost. But instead of spending the money where they've been spending it, they can spend it at JubiRev, JubiMax. And if they're only making four cents, guess what? They're four cents into their future. If they're only making $100 a month, guess what? That's $100 in profit, not just covering what they have to spend on products and services. That's really, really important. Let me ask you a question, folks. And be honest. Events are always these little awkward things where you're like, hmm, not sure how much I should actually participate, but you all came. I live here. So this is no big deal for me. You all flew out or drove out and came out here to see me. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you the question since this is kind of your show, not mine. How big of a slice of that multi-trillion dollar opportunity out there? How big of a slice of that pie do you want? Big. Big? big. All right. All right. As much as you can get. You ready to get your share? You deserve to get your share. I want to help you get it. This is important, folks, because how many of you feel like it? Probably too much injustice out there. How many of you feel like as entrepreneurs you work really hard and you deserve more? Yeah. You should feel that way. Okay? We live in a world of abundance. You deserve more. And how many of you, irrespective of how you feel about your own self, how many of you know your family deserves more? Make no mistake about it. These are important motivating factors. Okay? So let me ask you a question. If I could honestly show you a way to place an ad online, and give away free product samples, and in exchange, you could actually get a share of our company's daily revenues. Would that help you? How many of you understand the power of that question? How many of you understand that that is a question that you can take to the marketplace? That is a question that you can actually empower your teams, 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 teams with. That question scales. If you don't have a question that scales, you don't have a company that scales. That one slideshow right there proves to me that we have an epic opportunity, an opportunity where we will only be limited by our spirits, by our willingness to dream big, to take big action, to achieve big, and we will only be limited by the number of leaders that we have in our organization, which is why right off the bat with JubiRev, JubiMax, I made the decision, we're going to be a company that empowers leaders, because I don't have time to just go out and attract a bunch of leaders. I need to get a lot of leaders here great. I need to start empowering new people to become leaders, and that became part of my personal vision here. Because with a question like this that scales, we're going to need a lot of leaders. How many of you, yeah, go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in just a moment, I'll leave that slide up here for a minute. 
So my next slide is going to talk to you a little bit about the revenue sharing model. The power of the revenue sharing model. You've seen the power of the revenue sharing model? Yes? Did you see how Joe Average and Susie Average had an opportunity to earn? And, and, and here's what's great. All of a sudden, they're out there building, they're promoting, and they're not getting huge results, but they're getting some results. They're putting forth effort. You know, they're helping build the company's brand. Well, all of a sudden, they see a little bit coming back their way. They get excited. They get really excited. And then all of a sudden, that excitement empowers them that maybe you can do this. Okay? Have you seen the power of the revenue sharing model? Okay? Who all has seen the power of the revenue sharing model? Raise your hands. Okay? Now, the thing about the revenue sharing model is, is that it's so big, you need a really big company with a really big vision with really big products and services to be able to fill the shoes of this compensation plan. We have that. Everyday, ordinary, average people, Sue Average, Joe Average, they get an opportunity to actually come in here and promote and participate and earn. It is huge. And this is a system that can give ordinary people the opportunity to achieve the extraordinary. You know, everybody, I'm already I'm prepared for the fight. People are going to tell me, Josh, you can't use T-E-A-M. Together, everybody achieves more. We've been hearing that since we were in third grade. Well, I think some people need to hear it a little bit more. Because I don't see any team at the top of Fortune 500 companies when only the top people are making all the money. I think that's together I achieve more. Am I right? See, I don't see TEAM at a lot of the big network marketing companies because only the top leaders are the ones making all the money. I think that says for together I earn more. JubiRev, JubiMax, it's team. Together everyone achieves more. That's really what I want to be able to do. The way it works is look over here on this picture. I want you to see this little cool picture. Man, Whew, I want to learn how to do this someday. Everybody says, you know, when I retire, I'm going to learn something. I'm going to learn to sail, learn to golf. I'm going to learn to something. I'm going to learn how to make little cool widgets like this one right here. Look at that. You see what they're showing here is that the more promoters we get as a company, the more our company revenues grow, the more revenue we have to share. So you promote, you promote, you promote. You get a promoter, he promotes, you promote, you promote, we all promote, we promote, we promote, the company grows, we have more revenue to share. Now, what does that do for you? Let's take a peek. Let's make no mistake, I think it's healthy to consider I. I think it's healthy for all of us to consider what's in it for me, as long as it's not at the expense of other people. Now, that's something most people need to learn. But let's talk about you, because we want you to be successful. How do you benefit? Well. The more you promote by giving away samples okay, uh, of both uh, our sample products, Juby Bucks, etc., the more you promote, the more points you get. Pretty simple concept. Everybody with me so far? Now the question is, how big do you want your share to be? And I asked earlier, and everybody said, oh, I want a big share. So let me ask you, how big of a share do you want? Come on, everybody say it. Huge. 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 Right? Okay. Now, here's how that works. The more you promote, the more points you earn, the bigger your share gets. Look at that handy slide. Isn't that awesome? I gotta learn how to do that. Okay? Very simple. The more you promote, the more points you get. The more points you get, the bigger your share of our company daily revenues. Very, very simple compensation plan. Now I have some people say, but Josh, could it really happen? It happens every day. I mean, if if all of us were to go and live on the beach and teach scuba diving, which by the way is not a bad idea entirely, I'd like to take care of my family before I go do that. But if you and I, we were going to go to the beach and we lived in little huts, we could do that. we teach scuba diving. You come with me. we teach some scuba diving. If we all left the economy today, the Internet and direct sales would still be producing millionaires every single day. The only question is, if we're not quite ready to go to the beach and, and teach scuba diving, why can't we be one? There's no reason why we can't be successful. Because the Internet and direct sales have produced more millionaires than any other industry today working from home. No reason why you can't achieve your goals. The opportunity is absolutely there. Here's where most people fail. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of reasons why people fail. And um, probably more reasons than we have time to go through today. A lot of reasons why people fail. One of the reasons why people fail, though, is because they're in business for themselves and they're by themselves. How many of you have been lonely in your network marketing business before? Be honest with me. There is nothing so frustrating than the feeling of being all alone facing an insurmountable task. 
At JubiRev, JubiMax, you will never feel alone. We are building not just a company, but a movement, and that movement is simply the movement of the community. That is what the movement is. We say it's, it's more, than, more than a company. It's a movement. What is that movement? It's the community going forward together. That's what it is. So at JubiRev, JubiMax, you have that opportunity. You have that opportunity to be a part of something bigger than yourself. You have an opportunity to never work alone. You'll still be in business for yourself but you won't be in business by yourself. And we have a ton of step-by-step -step systems. We have the pro marketing system coming. We have so many exciting things that we're going to empower all of you with so that you have the opportunity to finally achieve the success that you've been looking for. And I want everybody to do an exercise. You open to do an exercise? Sure. Everybody do a little exercise? Okay, I want, you to, I want you to consider this. If you could just help yourself make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month, maybe that's all you achieve. Or maybe you have somebody on your team and they get started, and all they make is an extra $500 to $1,000 a month. What would that mean for your family? Z, what would that mean for you? Good life. Good life, all right. Better life, improvement. Let's take a look at what just $500 to $1,000 a month would do. One of, the, one of the things people say to me is, Josh, I don't think I can make a million dollars in network marketing, so I don't think I'm going to do it. Okay. So your second choice to make a million dollars would be what? I don't know yet. Tell you what, how about while you're working on finding a better way to make a million dollars, how about you come in here and get to work, and I'll show you how to make an extra 500 to 1000 to $5,000 a month. What might that do for you? Might change your zip code. Might give you a better car to drive. We have a car bonus that's going to be coming out. We call it Juby Style. I like that Juby Style. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. Lots to cover later on on the calls. Maybe a vacation. When was the last time you took a, a three-week vacation with your family? Starting over here. If you took a three-week vacation with your family in the last 12 months, I want you to raise your hand. None of you are wanting to know if you're sure. There's two of you. There's two of you. Okay? How many of you would like to take a three-week vacation with your family? And then just to make sure everybody raises their hand, how many of you would like to take a three-week vacation with or without your family? <laughs> okay? All right? You with me? One way or another. Okay? You can do that if you have everything in place to go out and build a business. And there's a lot of components for that. I'm going to just talk briefly about joining us as a founding member here with JubiRev, JubiMax. Um, I know that we're going to try to get at least one of these presentations up on the web so that we have an opportunity for all of you to share this, uh, to go back to your teams and say, hey, I was at this event live. That was fantastic. And, um, and that's great. But whether you're, if most of you here have already joined as a founding member, I know we have some guests who are still checking us out. And I know online people are going to be watching this and they're going to be asking themselves the question, should I do it? I don't know. Should you? Is it worth it? Are we talking about the same things that you've been thinking about, but maybe we've already put it together in one package and we've solved the problem? Because if that's the case, then you want to get started and join us as a founding member. Not tomorrow. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it today. Log into your back office. Load points. Load eCash. Do all the little steps that we have there, depending on what time it is that, we're actually, uh, that you're actually watching this webinar. Join us if you can as a founding member. Now, some of you are going to find this online. And the opportunity to be a founding member has already passed. So for those of you that are on the fence and the deadline hasn't yet come, I encourage you to move because while you're thinking about it, other people are upgrading and jumping ahead of you. The whole point of positioning yourselves ahead of the mass is to get in and get here first is to get the job done. But some of you are going to miss that and you're still watching this video. Is it too late to join JubiRev, JubiMax? No. In fact, I love Mark Twain's quote when he says that, you know, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the decisions that you didn't make, the opportunities you didn't take, than the opportunities that you did. So don't ever do anything to live a life of regret. Very, very important. Founding members bonuses also, the information will be available in there through the uh, other information we have, other webinars we have exactly about the founding members bonuses. So I'm not going to actually cover that here today, but I'll tell you this that if you have an opportunity to join JubiRev, JubiMax, either as a founding member or as one of our early members, either way you want to get started because we have the right company, we have the right products and services, we have the right leadership, we have the right vision. And in fact, here this afternoon, all of you are in for a treat because this afternoon, yesterday, uh, we had an incredible guest speaker by the name of Jerry D. Rano Clark, one of the top network marketing MLM trainers and coaches in the world, actually was here yesterday. It's fantastic to have him come in and speak with everybody. He spent about two hours with us. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. This afternoon, I'll be the guest speaker, actually. I'm my own guest speaker. But I'm going, to be, I'm going to be actually conducting our very first leadership training call this afternoon. Okay? 
So those of you that know that the path to where you want to be in life is to become a leader. How many of you understand that? How many of you know that it's, it's okay, you got to become a better marketer, but how many of you also know that you got to become a better leader? Come on, raise your hand. Don't be shy, folks. You've been thinking about it? A lot of people are like, woo, I don't know, Josh. I don't know that I'm quite ready to, to jump in there and be a leader yet. Okay, well, that's fine. But you've got to learn marketing and you've got to learn leadership if you want to achieve massive results in your business and in your life. So I want to go back to our vision for a minute and I want to go ahead and set up this, uh, this afternoon's training for leadership. And if you're watching this video, you want to look on the same page for a link. Hopefully we can get it on there uh, to where you can actually join our leadership training as well. But our vision is to spark a global economic movement and lead the revenue sharing revolution while empowering people around the globe to look good, feel good, and live good. That's our company vision. Has anybody ever had leadership defined to them? How many of you would like to have me define leadership? How many of you would like to know what is, what is leadership? Leadership is the ability to share a vision with other people and invite them to actually help you fulfill on that vision and then have them do so. How many of you think that I have the leadership to be able to ask people all around the world to help me fulfill on this vision? How many of you would like to have me teach you to become a leader just like I am? And some of you already are leaders, and that's great. I want to continue to help you through the system that I teach, empower other leaders in your organization as well, okay? Very, very exciting. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take a little break. Uh, we're going to enjoy some refreshments. We're going to check our schedule here for this afternoon, make sure that we've got some events that are uh, ready to wrap up. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to come out and meet with us here at our very first presidential meet and greet here in sunny Mesa, Arizona. And I hope everybody